Fighters, if you haven't seen the DJ, you'll be coming out to generic music. So if you want something, go see the DJ. He really likes Miley Cyrus, so you might get screwed. All right, listen up, please. I need your, I need your eyes and ears on me. I am the fight doctor. I gave every single one of you a clean bill of health. So let's just start with the beginning. If you've never heard this speech before, it's good. <laughs> All right, the great Mike Tyson once said, every fighter has a plan until they get hit. That sounds good to me, but I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. And here's what I say about mixed martial arts fighting. Mixed martial arts fighting is like dating. If you rush in, someone's gonna get hurt. Maybe both of you. But if you take your time and wait for the right moment, for the perfect opportunity to make your move, it could be a beautiful thing, just like dating. Having said that, um, I don't care about you as a fighter. I care about you as a person. You have school, work, family to return to, and I want to make sure you get back to that because I want to see you fight again. If I say your fight's over, it's over. I'm sorry. If the official says it's over, it's over. And if we talk about it and confer and agree that it's over, it's it. It's done. This is an amateur show. Again, it's all about safety. That's why I'm here. So if I step into the cage between rounds to help you, to stop the bleeding or whatever, don't look at me like your mama don't feed you, okay? I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job. Um, cornermen, if it's between rounds and your fighter is gassed and he cannot continue, don't call him a pussy, okay? It's not your fight. It's his fight. And again, I want to make sure he can fight again. So if I ask him, can you continue? I'll ask him like three or four times. If he doesn't answer me, that's it. That's his way of saying I'm done. And if he tells me he's done, he's done. Come on. It's not your fight, once again. Um, I don't care about your girlfriend. I don't care about your fiance. I don't care about your wife. I care about your mama because she put you on this planet. But if I step in there to help you, keep your women out of my way. Tell them to get away from me because I'm doing my job. And I don't need to tell her to get away from me just to do it. You see what I'm saying? Um, fighters, keep your fingers out of your opponent's holes. Okay? <laughs> I gotta say it. Yeah, it happens. Hard. Gentlemen. If you, if you get kicked in the balls or claim to get kicked in the balls, you can guarantee that I'm coming into the cage and I'm going up under your shorts and around your cup and I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel what I can feel. So if you don't want to be embarrassed like that, don't claim to get kicked in the balls just to take five minutes. All right? Because I know you get five minutes, and if I can feel it, if it's not twisted, I'll support it and I'll have you jump and I'll support it on the way down and you'll continue because it's happened before. Uh, the show I did for Chris Tickle. A guy made his own nut cup out of magazines and duct tape. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I know. And, and then he continued to fight after I dropped wow. his ball out. Cornerman, please do not stand up. The only thing that happens when you stand up is you piss the people off behind you who pay. Your fighter does not gain an advantage, all right, by you standing up. So please keep that in mind. Um, there will be one cornerman allowed in the cage between rounds. Again, if I go in there, Cornerman, don't front on me. Don't tell me to get out of the way because there's about 80 fighters here plus Jordan Maxey, the big nasty, and they got my back. Okay, and I don't think any of y'all want a piece of him. Before each fight, the fighters come out, you give your hugs and your kisses. After that, you belong to me. You crucify yourself. I'm going to do your inspection. She's going to hand me the Vaseline. I'm going to Vaseline everybody up the same way. I will do the Vaseline so everyone gets the same. It's going to be like a raccoon right around here. Um, and then you go into the cage. Your corner, if you need water, I think there's water at the table. Other than that, um, go to your corner. Please keep it civil. Cornermen, don't start arguing with each other in other corners. It happened. She was there. It was at Decatur. It was Jordan's last show, actually. It was Jordan's last show, it was one of Chris Tickle's fighters, and was it Bob Long's fighter? Yeah, the corners started to get into it, and I was like, listen, no. I mean, I got in between. I don't care. I'll take a punch. It's fine. I'll stitch you up. Thank you, Jordan. Now, if you do need stitches, I will do it right in that room for free. Or you can go to the ER and pay 400 bucks. And don't do that, because it's going to make Jordan take a hit on his insurance. Are you going to make it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. I won't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't. It will. No, I'm quick. I sewed up a duck a month ago, didn't I? There's a duck on a farm and Pitbull got a hold of it and saved it. Yeah. Um, yes, I am. So, again, if you need work, I will try to do everything I can to let you keep fighting. I will save your life, limb, or eyesight. I will stop the bleeding, I will open the airway, and I will restore consciousness. Can you stitch me up here? 
Mm. No, not in the cage. And if I stitch you up, it'll be during intermission. And Jordan knows I only need three songs to do it. That's how good I am. Any questions of me? Thank you for your time. 24 fights. This is going to be a quick move of night. When your fight's on deck, get to the lobby, because we ain't going to waste any time. So about, one, about one, we're starting in 10 minutes, so about one, get ready. Blue